people, just to give you a background on how the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air came about, I believe it was based on the life of uh, Benny Medina, who used to right. manage Mariah Carey, Jennifer Lopez, and then Quincy Jones used his pull and, you know, used Will as like, hey, you know, I got this guy, you know, he, right. I think he's hip, he's fresh, and took it to NBC, and boom, there it is, you know, and then right. you also have yourself, James Avery, Tatiana Ali, Alfonso Ribeiro from yeah. Silver Spoons, Tap Dance Kid, the Pepsi commercial, <laughs> and then... Knowing that the show was a big hit, what was it like going outside and you're getting recognized like, oh, you're Hillary from Fresh Prince? Well, you know, it, it got a lot more intense after the show went off, I'll have to be honest. When it was on, Will actually said to all of us, because we'd all go out to lunch together and do stuff, and as the show went on more and more, Will had a lot more meetings, and he wasn't with us as much because at lunchtime he had to have all his meetings and stuff. But we'd go out, and he said, you know, the first thing that's going to happen is you're not going to be able to go to the mall. That's the first thing you're going to realize. You can't go to the mall. We were like, what? You know, kind of laughed at it. I was like, please, you know. And I said, maybe for you guys it might be a little harder because, you know, you don't have to wear makeup and stuff. But, like, myself and the first mother, Janet Hubert Witten, the way we looked in our every day and how we looked on the show were very different because they put so much makeup on us and did all this hair and wardrobe. And, um, but it's true. I think the first place you start to notice it was real crowded areas, like, like malls, <laughs> where people who were watching the show were. And there's a lot more kind of whispering and double takes than anything. And to this day, the thing I get more than anything is people look me right in the eye and say, you know who you look like? Who? You look just like that girl from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Have you ever seen that? And they'll just talk to me. <laughs> You know, not realizing it to me. I never know exactly what I'm supposed to say. Right. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that if, after the show was off, it's when it began, I think when it was in syndication and it was in reruns for, you know, so mm -hmm. much, that's when I started, it started to become, um, far more intense. Okay. And how did you land the role of Ellen in the kid and play movie class that, class act? <laughs> I auditioned for it. Uh, you know, it was another one of these things where I just auditioned and, uh, gosh, I nothing too um, exciting to talk about on that one. Mm -hmm. you know. right, right. That was a good movie, another one of my favorite kid and play movies. And because of that movie, I know from Shakespeare's Much to Do About Nothing <laughs> that to die means to have a sexual orgasm. Um, um, duck, um, Blade, what does that mean? It means to pop the... I'm sorry. It means to have a sexual orgasm. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know I was going to say that. No, I, I remember that part. There's not a lot I remember about that, but I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then also, too, in 95, you did Major Pain with with Damon Wayans and also Orlando Brown before he was Eddie and Dasso Raven, I believe, pre-3J on yeah. Family Matters. So yeah. what, what was it like working on the set of that movie with well, Damon? Well, it's funny because he was such a little baby. <laughs> but um, uh, it was it was really fun. I mean, Damon is, you know, he's off the hook. He's so funny. He's so, um, it's like, you know, it's Will. But, you know, but Damon's a stand-up. So he gets in there and he's constantly trying new things or springing new things. And um, I remember one, at one point he had to put a, have a, one of these things are called a scrim. It's like something that the lighting people use to block out light. He had to put like this panel basically to block us from looking at each other. Because <laughs> every time he looked at me, he'd start cracking up. Because he was doing new jokes and I was off camera, so I was laughing. I was having a hard time holding it together. It was really fun, very fun. Right, and now when you guys are off camera and just cutting up, would he kind of go into character like with Major Pain and sometimes go back into his In Lemon Color days like with Antoine oh, yes. and Homie? And he has about, I am sorry, but he's got, you know, with Antoine and them, he had about four different, at least four different, I mean, ex extreme gay men that he had it all easily identifiable as a, diff a different personality mm -hmm. <laughs> like major ones it was very funny that he did aside from Antoine mm -hmm. and now back to the Fresh Prince like what was it like seeing Will's trans transformation from rapper to movie superstar giant you know starting with um, Six Degrees of Separation Made in America and then of course all the Will blockbusters that took place after that I was pretty incredible, you know, I mean, it was really, 
in the beginning it was really exciting to see him taking the chances that he did like to see him take a movie like six degrees at the place where he was as not just as an actor but as a young man when he took that um it was really very brave of him and he was obviously very nervous about it and you know spoke to denzel about like what do i do and there's this part where there's this kiss and all this stuff and you know he he tried to get some counsel because he it was a lot that he had bitten off but i thought he really rose to it and did an incredible job and it was a really brave part to take and i think it was ultimately a very important part for him to take but um i i when he started getting all the blockbuster stuff and all this blockbuster attention you know we were all kind of like, whoa, this is, in, this is incredible. But since all of that, the, watching him transform as an actor for me has just been, um, I don't know, it's, it's been, I've been incredibly impressed, incredibly impressed. I just saw a cut of uh, Seven Pounds, the movie that he's got um, coming out soon. And he's, he's become such a, such a wonderful actor. Um, I never knew that he was going to go that route, that he was going to take it so seriously and really, because he would, you know, he would do silly things like try to make himself cry, like, look, watch, 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 like I make myself cry. He'd do things like that, but his approach was so kind of, you know, he was like being a kid about it, that I didn't think he was taking it seriously. Ultimately, he ended up, he had all that enthusiasm, but he turned it into a, there was a genuine love of it that was growing on him, and he took it very seriously, and now we can see it in his work. Mm -hmm. And was there like some inside jokes doing the show Running Gas? Because I know on one episode, they had did like a thing where they shot the live audience while Will and um, Alfonso was doing the dance for Apache to jump on it. Oh, yeah. Joint. Well. <laughs> Tell me about that. Well, they used to do that. Because um, we would get together in Will's room before every show and we'd get a, do a huddle. And there'd be, first there'd be music on in his room as everyone gathered. They'd just be music on. Everybody just would dance and get loose and whatever. And then Apache, they put that on. And Will and Alfonso would find each other in the room and do their dance. And they used to do that. And it just, I mean, it, it didn't matter. They did it every single week. And I fell out every single time. It was just the funniest thing to me. And then um, the fact that now everybody knows that, because I looked on YouTube and saw it all over the place. It's funny because it felt like it was our secret for so long, for so many years, and now it's... Is, the cat is out of the bag. It's out. It's completely out, but it's, I'm glad because it's something worth sharing. It was so funny. that Yeah, there were definitely ongoing things. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a, we had a blast. Mm -hmm. had right, and the funniest point of the show is whenever um, Jeff would visit, and, you know, him and um, James Avery would get into it, he'll get thrown out the house. Yeah, well, you know, the dead giveaway was the shirt. 